Hey guys, it's Fail. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a work vlog where I'm going to show you like my start and finish of my costume. I am working with the McCall's Yaya Han Ultimate Bodysuit. This is M7217. Um, it's basically a very extreme version of a spandex bodysuit. The reason why I wanted to try this pattern is I have sewn countless quick sew two piece or four piece bodysuits before out of normal jumbo spandex and um, I just wanted to try something different so this looked interesting, it looked fun, I wanted to give it a shot so let's get started. So I got the pattern in my local Joann stores, but you can also get it online. I know Joann sells it, Cosplay McCall's, or even Yaya's website. The idea of the bodysuit is that it has these princess seams on the front, down the back, and then this underbust seam. By adding more seams, you have more options for customizing the suit to fit your body perfectly. The problem with having so many seams is that maybe only 1 in 10 people is going to fit this pattern straight out of the package you're going to need to do some altering to this pattern to make it fit you properly. So, given that, I recommend you make a mock-up. From my mock-up, I knew that the pattern was a little bit short torsoed for my body. In order to fix that, I basically measured from the top of my shoulder, underneath my crotch, and back up to the top of my shoulder. And that would be, you know, my entire torso length. And then I measured from the top of the shoulder to the bottom of the crotch on the front and then the bottom of the crotch on the back to the top of the shoulder on the back. And I subtracted a little bit for the seam allowance and I found out that I needed to add about an inch and a half more fabric so I did that. Also, I do want to note that I ended up having to add another three inches to the legs and I'm not particularly tall. I'm only about 5'5". Five five. So if you're taller than 5'5", five five and you're going to have to add more than 3 inches to the legs, I would also recommend when you're using this pattern to buy extra fabric than what it actually says on the back of the pattern. So I have here behind me the top half of the bodysuit laid out. These are my pattern pieces. They're all cut out. Like I said, I have this um, super pretty blue shiny matte spandex. It's a... Uh, from the Yaya Han line, cosplay fabric line. Um, I'm a huge fan of the fabric. I know it's expensive, but I think it's got this really beautiful sheen. It really shows up pretty in person and in photos. And um, if you use a coupon, I think it's worthwhile. So the other thing that I'm doing with this bodysuit, because it's not just a one color monotone bodysuit, it's actually a flight suit from My Little Ponies. It's going to be modeled after Spitfire's flight suit, um, and she is a Wonderbolt. So the basic idea of the flight suit is it's a blue flight suit, and it's got this uh, yellow, or I'm translating that into this gold, because the Ultra Prem also comes in gold blaze down the front and a little bit of detail on the cuffs and then they have their little cutie marks on their hips. So that's what my idea is. So basically what I have here is I have the front and then I went ahead and created the pattern for my inlay and I'm going to applique that on. So I'm adding a little bit of difficulty to this already slightly difficult project but hopefully It'll work out okay. I have faith.
Okay guys, so this is completely unorthodox, but I'm having a cosplay MacGyver moment. So while I was trying to sew on my first applique, I was having a heck of a time trying to get the applique to lay flat on on the seam lines. I was getting puckering and bunching and uh, the applique was shifting and I just was not happy with how it was turning out. I found out the problem was is you know I have my fabric all pinned down and as I was removing pins the pressure from the presser foot and just the weight of the fabric was just sliding the applique around. The way I solved that was I actually uh, I taped it on. The only other way I know to solve it is to add more pins and uh, if I add more pins I'll put more holes in the leather and I don't really want that so uh, I just went ahead and taped it on and then sewed over the tape and then peeled the tape away. It seems to be working okay. I guess this is where I give you the disclaimer that I'm not a professional seamstress. I'm completely self-taught and uh, sometimes when you're in the middle of making a costume you just gotta do what seems right and uh, this is what I did so uh, you can do this or probably don't do this but hey it's problem solving.
showing the suit up, but what I realized was I extended the pattern, but I forgot to extend the zipper. Uh, so my zipper ended up being about two to three inches too short, and I actually can't get into the suit properly. I can only put one arm in. Uh, so I had to redo it, and that sucks. So remember to resize your zipper.